talk to you a little bit about what an RDHAP is, what we do on the daily, how we get it done. It's a really crazy mission and why I even started this. So an RDHAP is basically, I know a lot of you are from all over the country. And so what it is, it's a registered dental hygienist and alternative practice. So in the state of California, you can get a special license after you've been a registered dental hygienist for a while. You have your bachelor's degree. You need at least 2000 clinical hours. Um, in a dental setting, then you can take a course, and then once you get the course, you have to apply for, um, you take your law and ethics exam, you take a couple, get a bunch of licensure from the California State Board, as, as well as your city, a DBA, all these different components, and then you can start working and practicing. I really wanted to go and help people with special needs. Um, it's something very special to my heart because my mom's sister, who we're gonna be seeing today, my Aunt Sandy, she has cerebral palsy. And her husband has cerebral palsy as well. Super excited to show kind of what I do on the daily, why I did this is because I really want to have the general population and the people that really need it the most have access to dental health because in reality, it's very difficult to get someone who is you know, has cerebral palsy or his handicap is homebound to a dental office. It's like the last thing on the list. Okay, so in my back office, I have all my supplies and basically at the start of my morning, I come back here and I start making my trays for the day. In addition to that, I also have my sterilization unit here, which I'll show you after I get back. I always run my instruments and things and I always test to make sure that the spore strip is, um, coming back that everything's sterile and things like that. teeth in the comfort of her home. It's just a really great experience for both of us because my aunt, even the caregiver, just watching her um, behavior in the chair, she was like, wow, this is the first time that I've seen Sandra relax in while getting her teeth cleaned. And it was a really easy process. We didn't have a lot of stress. It was very easy to just make sure that everything, you know, was healthy and things like that. So today we're just gonna follow up. Anthea, how are you feeling today? I feel great, thank you. <laughs> Good. So she said she feels great. And um, are you ready to get your teeth cleaned? I am. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Here are our loops. This is my mobile chair. We have a mobile suction. We have my mobile ultrasonic. Everything going. And this way she can get her teeth cleaned really comfortably. I have my mirror, I have, um, like I said, my explorer, I have my probe. So if I had to say like my favorite instruments, um, I have a 1718, I love that. I have a mini, so I honestly feel like my favorite instruments are the good old explorer and probe because I need to do that with every patient that's for sure an instrument I will use. And then like I said, I always start with the pH as well. So we're gonna start with the pH, open and close. This is just gonna see how acidic your mouth is. And so, one more time, you need to have at least a little bit of saliva on there for about 15 seconds. Then I look, and then I'm gonna let it dry for a second. Then I look at the comparison, the comparison strip on the bottle, and then this will help me and I document it in the patient chart as well. Okay, so I've switched out patients and I've cavity wiped everything once. I'm capping wiping everything a second time and opening up everything that's sterilized and new and fresh because we are switching patients. Just finished our second cleaning, so I'm gonna go ahead 
and start cleaning up everything, but I just wanted to see how Jose feels. So how do you feel? ¿Cómo se siente? Very good. Thanks. <laughs> and so we finished up everything. And you Sandy, how do you feel? Very clean. Very clean. So um, I'm so happy that they feel great. And now it's time for cleaning up. I love what I do. I think that it is a lot of effort. It's definitely a lot more work um, being an RDHAP because it's the running back and forth and packing up and unpacking. And it's just a lot of legwork in between. But it's so rewarding. And it, I love, I love it. I love that. I'm able to help somebody who really may not be able to have that help. And so it's been such a blessing and I'm so grateful. And anyone who has any questions about being an RDHAP or they're scared or they're nervous, like message me, let me know. I'm here to help. I would love to help others become RDHAPs. I think it's a great community. I think that it is wonderful to be able to get, you know, all, there's so many patients out there. There's love that we're able to do this. It's so great. I think that more people should, should experience this because it's very rewarding. Thank you so much for joining me on this little adventure. I'm still going to continue to go for the day. Mm -hmm.